son, how you doing? This is Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. All right, here we go. A bride in a gown ambushes fiancé at Target with a pastor, bridesmaid, and demands to get married on the spot. Okay, well, this girl is not messing around anymore. She's had it. He either marries her or it's over. New videos on TikTok appear to capture a bride at a Las Vegas Target who's tired of waiting. In the two-part video, TikTok user Boy Mom Ashley, a woman in a bridal gown, appears to confront her fiancé at the store where he works, complete with a pastor and a bridesmaid. In the clip, the woman can be heard saying, you put this ring on my finger two years ago, and it's time to do it or get out. Yeah, we're getting married right now, or I'm leaving, I'm out, I'm done. Like, if you don't marry me this second. Ooh, well, sounds serious. Let's watch this, shall we? You put this ring on my finger two years ago, and it's time to do it or get out. And we're getting married right now, or I'm leaving, I'm out. I'm done. Like, if you don't marry me this second, I brought the pop star. I brought Emily. She's my bridesmaid. Hi, guys. I'm just finally making him commit, you know? Like, we're getting married now, or, like, it's over. Woo! Do it! Yeah, we can't talk about this yeah, outside. She's not kidding. Shaping. There it is. It's now, or it's over. I don't know. They didn't really say if she did it. Near the end, it's just finally making him commit. Okay, but they didn't really... It's unclear whether the potential bride stopped to complete a wedding registry on the way out. <laughs> okay. I guess they got married. I don't know. On to our next story, shall we? The FBI refuses to name a well-known North Carolina pastor accused of urinating on a woman during a flight. Hmm, what could have possibly brought that on? A Michigan woman says she woke up to someone urinating on her while she was on a Delta flight home to Detroit from Las Vegas. Yeah, well, uh, the last story was in Las Vegas too. That someone happened to be a well-known Carolina, North Carolina pastor. The pastor who hasn't been publicly identified, why not? was issued a court appearance for misdemeanor, er, misdemeanor assault and released. Until he appears in front of a judge and therefore gets formally charged, we will not be releasing his name. Since when? They always put, they always tell who these people are. Schneider said she didn't know the scheduled date of the pastor's court appearance. She said the FBI learned about the incident through the Wayne County Airport Police who initially responded. She says most of the people on the plane were asleep at the time. She was sitting in the back of the plane next to her sister at the time of the incident. It felt warm, like on the side of me I felt something warm. <laughs> what a bummer. I jump up and I seen his private area out and I screamed and that woke everybody up, I bet. By the, that time I actually looked at him and I see him shake himself off, and I'm like, this man just peed on me. I looked, and there was a puddle of pee in the seats. Ah, how gross. The report from Fox 2 says the pastor may have had a reaction to a sleep aid. Or he was drunk, either way. Beverly says the man didn't say a word the entire time. He was standing next to her during the alleged incident. Yeah, he was going to the bathroom. What's he going to say? Beverly said she had to sit in her urine-soaked clothes for the rest of the flight. About three more hours. Oh, boy, I bet that was comfortable. The police did take the pastor into custody with possible charges pending. Yeah, I don't know. Pastor was unavailable for comment. Oh, he was available. He just declined to comment. Yeah, I bet. All right, that takes us to our next story, shall we? A Polish gym dubs itself a church 
to bypass the virus rules. Hmm. There you go. That's one way. A Polish gym has dubbed itself a church in a bid to stay open under the new antivirus restrictions that have seen the fitness industry scramble for creative loopholes. Because fitness classes aren't allowed, starting today, we're offering religious gatherings for members of the Church of the Healthy Body. Hard to believe in this world everything is possible. The, g the gym in southern city of Krakow added Saturday. All right. The creative branding rebranding follows the government's decision to shut down most pools and gyms in order to stem a recent surge in coronavirus infections. But church services are still allowed to go ahead in, in the devout Catholic country of 38 million people, as long as the faithful wear masks and abide by the attendance limits. All right, well, there you go. You can get around it by, by becoming a church. And then finally, this happened. <laughs> Well, that was pretty good. And that's going to do it for this edition of the Aimless News. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and most of all, share this video far and wide. Because remember, the Aimless News must be told. 